and this will let you surpass your previous limit without the burden of fatiguing. Hey, what's up everyone? Hi, this is Harshad Menon from Health and Muscles. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because I come up with awesome content every week. In this video, we are going to be talking about principle and process of creating a training plan. Now, what do you exactly need to understand in order to create a training plan? We will be looking into the fundamental principles of forming a training plan in the other side of the video. While creating a training plan, you need to stick to this protocol no matter what tool or method you're implementing. If you do not obey even one of these protocols, the program can be ineffective and inefficient. Point number one, plan your training around big basic compound movements. It is important to understand that the body is a collection of different parts which makes it a whole. Now, big basic movements are always more effective in bringing out overall development. So if you're falling short of time to work out, compound movements are your best bet. Two, do not, I mean, do not ignore flexibility and mobility, strength and endurance. All the three qualities should be addressed and none should be ignored as that will lead to stagnation or worse, injuries. Now, I am not talking about giving equal attention, but at least a functional minimum while you focus on one, for example, Post-workout, you can do your stretching to increase your flexibility, which many people ignore. Three, balance your body as much as possible. Now, the nervous system does not tolerate big imbalances between muscle group, especially around any joint. If that happens, it will lead to stagnation and injuries. Uh, weak points will get weaker and your strong points will even get even more stronger. If your training is not planned properly, fix this by balancing volume between various movements and body parts and sticking to isolation exercises to train naturally weak muscles. Now, you got to be very careful about strength imbalances between antagonist, it means opposite muscle group. For example, if you keep training your bicep and if you ignore your tricep, this will lead to your elbow pain. And also you'll notice that your bicep will stop growing after a particular point of time. Now this happens because your nervous system will hold the bicep growth to prevent injuries. 4. Progression is critical. If you do not see any improvement in some way over time in terms of reps, weight or the technical difficulty, you will not grow. In fact, you will not make any gains. Hence, always set up a goal and work towards it. As I've explained in the progressive overload video, right? I'll be attaching it somewhere over here. Yep, yep. Simply put, if you exceed the body's comfort zone and your body will improve. When you see that your strength and your fitness is improving, keep increasing the difficulty of the exercises. Slowly, in order for you to continue the stimulus for your body, you should not distress out your body. You should always be in eustress. There are various ways to do it. It's not always about the weight. You can increase the density of the workout by reducing the rest timing and beat the timing that you clocked in your last workout. Progress slow. The processes that are responsible for adaptations are slow and it takes time to develop. Forcing it or trying to speed up will only lead to your burnout. So go slow, but take consistent steps so that you do not distress yourself out and fail. Now give time for your technical and mental qualities to develop, which means frequently changing your routine is not advisable. I have seen many people keep doing this saying, okay, I have hit a halt. Now I need to keep changing, keep changing my workout regime. That does not work like that. Avoid program hopping. Cause if you don't stay with your routine long enough, you will be unable to load it to the maximum extent possible and it, you are not getting better at it anyways, right? So give time so that you get better at it. 
yes definitely changing routine feels good because body is doing something different and it's a new kind of stress but for maximum improvement it requires prolonged exposure to same stress our body will keep accumulating the adaptations with time and that is how my friends you will progress six respect training economy gains are simply the difference between adaptations and stress if the stress is too much then you will be distressed as explained in the previous video i'll link it here i'll put it here somewhere therefore it's always important to provide the minimum effective target uh meaning you have to provide stress in such a manner that your body can cope up with the stress that way stress can be minimized and we can train longer without hitting plateaus also then we can scale up for a bit when our body stops responding to any one level of work you must be smart enough and eliminate all redundant exercises that do not help you to achieve something for example if you have already trained and fatigued out doing hammer curls with dumbbells there is no need for you to do a hammer curl with a box bar rather doing reverse curls or simply letting the body recover is the way to go seven take a step back to take two step forward sometimes even after following rule number 5 and 6 that i have mentioned there will come a point where we are not making progress due to high stress the best way then is to back off and allow your body to detrain so that it can once again become sensitive to training when we start training again starting from a minimum is the best strength and muscle loss does not occur when we take a break stress will be reduced at a much faster rate this also lets you make gain when you restart training for example let's assume your strength level is 100 and fatigue level is 120 after 2 weeks of rest your strength may drop to 80 and your fatigue to 40 now when you start resuming your training your strength will be back to 100 while the fatigue may be 50 or 60 and this will let you surpass your previous limit without the burden of fatigue do not be afraid of short term loss if it is going to be resulting into good recovery and a better start so that is it for today guys if you like the video please hit the like button and also share it with your friends because sharing is caring right see you in the next video